Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, sorry for any loud uh, background noise. Um, it's just unfortunate, but that's okay. Hope everyone's still having a nice weekend regardless. So it looks like I finally crossed like the four digit mark. Uh, so thank you very much to everybody that has helped, um, especially uh, retirement dividends. Uh, and then guys like Max Convexi and Tactical, uh, thank you very much. So I guess like, cause you guys are also um, YouTubers and you kind of know like the process of how tough it is, is to, you know, just like grow a channel. Uh, and you guys didn't have to do that. Uh, so I, I'm very thankful um, because, you know, I guess like without you guys, I'd probably be stuck at like, you know, 420 or like, you know, 69 subscribers or, you know, something funny like that. Uh, so, and of course, I'm just, I want to say thank you to all the people that have uh, supported the channel, whether you've liked it or viewed it or subscribed. Uh, thank you very much. But there's still, of course, like plenty of work to be done here. Uh, so no money has changed hands uh, from Google to myself yet. So there's still uh, plenty of work to do. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look at the dashboard updated for the Defiance uh, funds. So unfortunately, not that much of a of a discount here. You're getting like you know a penny here and there, so nothing too exciting. But that's okay. Uh, I guess as long as uh, people aren't paying like an arm and a leg uh, for these funds, uh, this is probably okay. So give me one second. So I'm just gonna switch over uh, to the dashboard. Uh, make sure everything looks okay. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get this back into focus. Well, actually, before you get into this spreadsheet, let's take a look at good old dashboard here. Okay, so I think it might be um, interesting to see how this will play out. Uh, so I, as I mentioned before, like the discounts, um, you kind of see over time, there's really not that many times when uh, you see like the like the discounts uh, occur. So um, and just kind of show you like each for each of the different funds, like over time. So the top line is basically the nav and the, and the close. Uh, so in general, they kind of hug each other, but there are like some days here and there where you can get like a nav, nav like a decent discount. Uh, but, you know, of course, it doesn't happen uh, very often. Uh, so, you know, when you see it, so I guess like something like, uh, like this, like when you kind of see like the, um, where it's like, on, like, for example, like February 21st uh, for triple QY, like the nav, like people are paying like, you know, 20 cents like over. So that's kind of not what you want to see. Uh, you actually want to see something more like, well, even on like the top line, uh, to see the the graph, like they kind of like for the most part, they kind of track each other uh, fairly well. So you know when you do see a discount, um, try to grab it whenever you can. And and that's this is for Spy T. And definitely for Spy T, um, because it, it's for now like the like a very good performing one. Uh, I mean, in in terms of like uh, keeping keeping its uh, nav price um, like clo as close to like 20 bucks as, as possible, or at least like as stable as possible. Uh, and especially um, with the past few weeks, uh, it's been kind of like challenging. Um, and we'll see more in a second. And just to look to see for like Trez, uh, unfortunately like the overall slope of like the nav and the close, it's kind of trending down. But you know, the best you can do again, uh, you know, tr try to keep your average uh, uh, closing price or like I guess your cost basis as low as possible so let's take a look at kind of like for like the for the week uh, so let's go with IWMY so you can see like you know this fund is pretty pretty decent uh, it has like 161 million uh, well at least like at the start of the week and then it unfortunately trended down a little bit but it's still, you know, 157 million. It's not too bad. Uh, but and then like you can kind of see like the breakdown of like the sum per share. So it starts off like kind of like near the left over here, 
um, and then you kind of see like the breakdown between like the treasury, the cash, and the option. And then, fortunately for like the defiance funds, there's only like one real option. This is like for like the the next day. So unfortunately over here, like you're only grabbing like six cents per share, uh, and that's if you can uh, successfully, you know, close above like the strike price. And then you kind of see the same uh, something similar for the for like for example uh, the other funds. So let's take a look at Jeppy. So 131, and then kind of trend down a little bit, down to 126. So you know, at 16 bucks per share, and then you see the breakdown again by the treasury cash and the options. And over here, you're only collecting like four cents for like the new day, but hopefully at least they can they can keep it and kind of like start the process uh, all over again. Um, so let's take a look at triple QY. So this is. I believe this is their largest one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so 267 uh, so far. And you kind of see it trend down a little bit, down to 249 for the week. Uh, and then, of course, like uh, there's, there's also like the, um, you know, like the payouts uh, recently. So, so you know, right now it's uh, 14 dollars and 50 cents. So it's it's looking a little rough. Um, and then again, like you can see like the option over here, you're only collecting like uh, five cents per share, uh, at least for the day. So hopefully by the end of the week, you know, if all everything goes well, you collect like 20 cents per share a week. So, you know, hopefully they can get a good, good win, win streak going. Uh, let's take a look at over uh, SPY T. So, so far it, it's, you know, it, it's a relatively small fund, uh, but you know, as you can see, like the, they've like it's been pretty consistent so far uh, so you know the, sh the share price is $19.36 and then you know see the uh, when it says options though here it the, the covered well I guess like it's like a cover call spread um, so basically it's like like so far the last time I've looked at it like right now it has like IVV but then you have like a S SPX uh, credit spread on, on top of like the whole position so you can kind of see the, the breakdown there uh, so like the option is really like IBV plus like the whatever the daily uh, credit spread is. So over here, you're collecting like three cents per share. Um, again, not very exciting, but you know if they can keep this uh, going uh, consistently, you know it could be a, like a fair payout, especially if you can, they can keep to like the twenty percent um, per year. So let's take a look at a good old Tress over here. So unfortunately, like. Uh, but treasuries, there's even like like talks of like perhaps like rate hikes, so it's not surprising to see like uh, a, like a treasury fund uh, underperform. Uh, so as you can see, this collected, uh, you know, actually the spy T is collecting uh, more in terms of like market share, like at eleven million, um, and then Trez is still kind of stuck at like three million. And let's t take a look, but at least like it's kind of still stuck around like the three million ish mark. Uh, so and then so far um, per share it's like seventeen dollars and seventeen cents, and again uh, you can see kind of like the option breakdown for these guys. So this is like a in terms of like option strategy, it's actually pretty interesting to me, but it hasn't quite performed as well as I would hope. Um, but I guess it is what it is. And then let's take a look at like kind of like the whole whole. Um, I guess like the portfolio of uh, defines option ETFs here. So you can kind of see like the trend over time, like it started at 572 million, which is still pretty, pretty respectable for relatively uh, new funds. You can kind of see like the change over time. I guess you can see like SPY T has been holding up like fairly steady. And each of these guys, are, it's kind of like, like eroding a little bit um, and you know, Let's hope that in the future they'll continue. Uh, well, well the, for Spy T to continue the performance, and then unfortunately for like the other guys, since it's very, uh, you know, volatility dependent. So even though like recently we got like a little bit of a mini spike um, in terms of volatility, I think they did the best that they could. But even then, um, on a daily basis, it, it's it's still kind of rough. Uh, you have to make sure you're collecting enough to kind of offset any any declines and like the underlying like stock or or index price so we have to always keep that in mind so i'm just going to save this guy and let's 
let's go back to the regular spreadsheets and I think for uh, going forward maybe like for the um, uh, these type of like the like the regular spreadsheet I wonder if it's if it's better to maybe keep keep it uh, more brief oops sorry so let's bring this guy back into focus so maybe instead of like blabbing you know because uh, I think it's easier to kind of maybe like see kind of like the trend instead of like me blabbing about each and every single thing uh, maybe I'll just like like what I'll what I can do uh, maybe kind of like show each guy at a time and this this way you can kind of like visually see like the the price like on top like for example like IWMY like this guy you can kind of see like for yourself it's like you know uh, sixteen dollars and twenty five cents uh, went down to fifteen thirteen cents, and then over here you can kind of see like the breakdown between like the cash the option and the treasuries. So ideally, you want like the cash to kind of consistently um, grow over, grow over time. But then of course, like you always see like for example like this guy over here, uh, you know when you see like the cash position uh, go negative, that's definitely not good. Uh, so either people left. And then like the next day you have to kind of like sell out like some of the treasuries to kind of short back up um, and then of course you want like the options like the credits to be as high as possible so for example like iwmy for like um may 3rd uh, and technically technically this is may 2nd but if, you know the dates um are not on a lag basis so obviously you want like the credit to be as high as possible so like either you want like like, like days like this where you have like 21 cents or like 15 cents um, and then you see like the unfortunately like the to start the new week uh, you know only collecting like six cents per share that's not where you want to be but of course like it you know it depends on the market of course so you have no control over that um, then you see like let's take a look at JPY so so I'll let you kind of like maybe jot down some notes um, because you can kind of see for yourself like whether like the cash is you know going in the right direction or not and then the same thing with the options uh, you want this to be as the credit to be as high as possible and then of course you you would always love like your treasuries um, to also be as high as possible and then let's take a look at triple QY um, so I'm gonna pause a little bit here uh, just so any everybody can take some notes then as you can see, like you know, triple QY, like there's there's some days when the when the cash position went negative. Uh, so part of it's gonna be like you know for the payout, and then uh, and then another part of it's gonna be for people that you know for whatever reason uh, want to leave the ETF. Um, and then you see like you know the options, like the you know the the credits, you know, lately like haven't been like that great, like per share. And then like the treasuries, you see like well. It's a bit of a decline, so that's you know it's not fun to see. And then same thing with Trez. Uh, let, let me pause here so you can take some notes. Um, and then you know see like the cash. Interestingly enough, like the cash position over here ne never went negative, like some of the other guys. Um, see like the cash actually went up um, for the new week from eighteen to thirty nine cents, and then you see like the. The option debit uh, went from twenty seven cents uh, to a credit of four cents, um, and then treasury. Well, the treasury of the treasury is, you know, went down uh, slightly, which is interesting. Like, it, it remained like pretty consistent like throughout most of the week, and then it dropped a little bit to sixteen eighty two. So hopefully they can um, reverse that. And I'm really hoping for like defiance. They'll they'll release like the other. Uh, like the target funds because um, I think like so far like if you look at just like the like the ETF price it's you know it, it held up relatively well um, considering like the pullback and everything I mean it went down to like 1899 over on this date but then like it kind of recovered back to like 1936 so you know I'm you know whoever whoever's in this I'm, I'm kind of pulling for you guys because I think like a lot of folks are kind of concerned about like you know any type of erosion so so hopefully um you know this one does well and then 
this will be enough to kind of bring out the other guys like uh, Triple QT and IWMT. So Cash, you know, only went negative for like this one day and then went back up. Uh, you know, the options also like the the portfolio level co uh, cover call use in the SPX. So it looks like it's held up fairly well. Um, so I'm hoping that it, it'll it'll work the same way for the. I guess like when they do it for like the triple QT and IWMT, like like the NDX itself, like it's not as liquid, so you might have like some variations there. Um, but the right is also like uh, like a very um, liquid index, so hopefully like, the options on there uh, will be, you know, will be good for that fun. Um, I guess whenever they release it. Uh, so once again, I hope uh, everybody um, uh, liked this video. Um, yeah, the film was not easy so I, once again I just want to thank all my subscribers uh, old and new uh, help, for helping me uh, reach this point uh, thank you for watching I hope people have the great rest of the weekend and then let's hope uh, for good things um, this week and let's all make some good money out there so I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye